What's up, guys? I decided to change gears on these uh, 777s, and I've already done one servo, and then it. <clears throat> then I thought, uh, why not make a video for people that uh, never done it before or are interested in how it's done. So uh, this one's done. This one is not. Uh, look at the play. This one's done and has no play. And it took nothing but five minutes. So uh, let's get to it. So it comes in a package just like this. And um, you can see four gears, uh, two shafts, and uh, it doesn't come with grease. I wish it would, but I'm using uh, white lithium grease. Uh, of course, uh, I will wipe off. But it seems like there is some oil in it. Can you see it? Right there. So, all right, let's continue. So I took it out of the package. Yeah, it does have some uh, uh, oil, some kind on. Uh, the good thing is, uh, see these bearings are already installed inside and outside. So that's pretty cool. Two shafts are right here. There's a shorter one and a longer one. Now, it's a good idea to take a picture of the uh, gearing, the way it sits uh, in a servo before you take it apart, but it's it's really not that difficult, so let's do it. So here it is, 777. Get a screwdriver. There's four little screws on the bottom. There you go. Pull them out. And there's two more on the top. One, two. We'll pull that out. Sorry for the lighting. There we go. These are shorter. And now to take it apart. So just kind of wiggle, careful. And uh, just, just take something like this. Very gently. I'm not hitting it hard at all. And there it is. So the two shafts are still in it. That's what it looks like. So, take it all out. Don't mix the new with the old. <laughs> Here it is. I'm going to wipe off all of the access just in case. There may be some shavings, maybe not. I don't know, but I have new grease, and I'm going to use that. So there it is. That's clean. Uh, we're not going to use these shafts, so I'm going to use pliers. Pry these out. It's tight. Let's see what about the little one. The little one came out easy. The big one. Not as easy. I have a vise right here, so I'll grab that by the vise and just pull it out. The first servo was the same. Um, oh, came out. There you go. So let's wipe it off again. To me all right so new gear right here new shafts 
And obviously this one goes on first. There you go, put a little bit of grease on it. And put it in place, goes in just like this. You can see it. I don't have the best of lighting, but all right, the next is the main gear. Let's put whoop. A little bit of white lithium grease on it. Uh, any advanced auto parts or AutoZone or any auto parts store should have it. Not sure about Home Depot, but wouldn't be surprised. So this goes on, you can see. Put it on. There you go. So that's on. Next one would be this brass one. I don't know if it <clears throat> that's the order that it goes in, but it's the way it works for me. And I've done high-tech servos, I've done MKS 380s, uh, Savox. They all look about the same when you take them apart. And it's going to sit on top right here. Now the last one. This one looks like it needs plenty of grease. So there it is. And this one will sit right here. So, brand new gear, nice and beautiful. So, I wipe my fingers and the case. And of course, I'm gonna grease up the shafts too. The long one goes in the middle. Align the gear that's that went in first. Let's see. Hmm. Come on, baby, go in. And now the other lost. And now the case, or the top of the case, may take a second to align. Play with it just a little bit till it's. See. Don't force it, but I'm just about there. You can see it's closing nicely. Let me test it. Yep, perfect. So put the screws back in. Don't over tighten, just as they say, nice and snug. There you go. And now the four on the bottom. Finishing up, last one, I'm gonna go and check all of them. And don't over tighten, just nice and snug. You don't want that seal 
right here to be squeezed out. That's it. So let's put the arm on and see and no play. Zero. And, you know, I don't remember. I think I maybe had uh, 100 flights or so. plane didn't fly bad, but I think you'd be surprised uh, how different it flies when you have new servos on. So this is another servo that I really want to do, but I can't do because I don't have the gears. But, I mean, look at the play, right? Now that, that's right here. By the time it hits the end of the uh, elevator, because these came from the elevator, uh, it's pretty significant. It could be a quarter of an inch or even more. So, I mean, these were just like 35 bucks, something like that. Um, you just go on MKS website and order... Uh, the gears and you'll have them in a couple of days and you know I keep them in my flight box uh, in case uh, something happens to the field and I can just do that there so that is it guys if anybody has, has any questions uh, ask me like I said I've done it so many times that uh, uh, the and um, the gears will be a little stiffer at the beginning see when you this one is the old one. Well, not old, but, you know, gears that I did not replace. So it's kind of nice and free. This one we just did, and it's much stiffer. But, trust me, as you, uh, when you plug it in, it's going to be just fine. After a few flights, it's going to be just like the other servo, except no slop. So, and like I said, it makes a huge difference. If you think that slop was okay, it, it really is not. And $30 uh, on a servo, I mean, you know, that's not that bad. I've got six high-tech 7950s sitting right here that uh, I'm going to do that too for my next project. So, again, 40 bucks or 30 bucks, whatever it is, not that big of a deal. See you later.